So hi folks, welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner, It's Only a Game. I've got the legend, he's always a legend to me, Jason Mariner over in Thailand. So uh, what's been happening this week, Jason? No, nothing, just the normal scenario, you know. Well, I'll say the normal, look, this depends what you do. Like tonight, it's Friday night, eight, it's about 8 o'clock here now. I parked up, that's it, the, 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 the shop, what was it, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, I don't know. Anyway, the Stop be getting shut soon. Boom, boom, see, boom. That's me. The handbrake's on. Chelsea's at half seven of my night. It's a good little time to meet a mile. But um, I went out Tuesday. The wheels fell off Tuesday. You know what I mean? So I don't know what time I went out. I went out. I don't know what time I went out. What I can tell you is I come home at quarter nine in the morning. So Wednesday, I was shocking. Have you got the stamina to do this? It's just you bump into people. Boom, you have a light out. You have a light out. Just carry on, didn't you? Do you know what I mean? Shorts, t-shirt, but sweet. So give me like, give me like a rundown of like how many drinks you might have on a night out like that. Ah, oh, it's, it's impossible. It's Would you so start with? Because I'm a top shelf man as well. Right. I, have, I have a couple of easy riders. I have two siders. Two siders is quite refreshing. And then... Uh, I was on the top shelf all the way through, and then the, the shots in between and what have you. <laughs> so, what would you end up having? Twenty drinks or something like that? I mean... Oh my god, don't be so ridiculous, Liam! I slaughter that. They reckon the other week. They reckon them. My mate said to me the other week. He said I went in his bar after going right round the clock. I went in his bar, off me nut about twelve o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and, I, and I left there. And I left there after doing three calls of bottle of Bacardi. And I'd been out since I was four in the afternoon before. But let me tell you, I paid for it. Listen, people are getting paid. Well, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to go. I'm going to fucking die anyway. How about that, right? I'd like to go. <laughs> I'd like to go piss with an hard on. Yes. But I'm only. But, but, but see my problem, Liam. To be totally honest with you. I'm a. Uh, I'm a pin stringer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, I can. I could quite easily go. Yeah, it's harder over here to go. Like, I mean, you know, you know, when I was back in the UK, it, by my choice, because I'd get out, I'd get offered to an opening of an envelope, yes. but I'd, by my choice, I would uh, wouldn't so wouldn't have too much of a social life because I didn't want one. Yeah, because I knew my goal. My goal would be would be here. Yes. And I'd rather, and all the time, you're not going out and going on mad bent and this, that, and the other, and going out all the time. Got you, you. You got a nice a bit more, bit more few quid out for over here. You know what I mean? But absolutely. So, if if you've got like a, a group of best mates over there, or do they do they change? You know, as the people come listen, to... you don't get lonely over here. Don't worry about that. Listen, I know loads of people over here. Do you know what I mean, I mean, my, my pal Bum's over here. My, my Kieran, I think, I think, I don't know if he goes home tonight or tomorrow night. He's a bummy bum. He goes. So there's a, I mean, there's a it started off with about, I don't know, weeks round come out. I don't know what was out. Oh, but does not eat was out. But everyone does the slips. They all go their own way or whatever. I admire your stamina. Although you've got loads of people coming in, uh, uh, talking to you, saying that you've got to pack the drink up because of the gout and all of that. So, you know, they say... Nothing to do. Listen, listen. See me bit of mum one day. Yeah. She went to me, Whoo. When I first got it, and I've only only got the twist and shout probably five years ago. Burgers is next door. He's twenty six years old. Got it last week. Got it last week. Twenty six years old. I got it fifty one. Right. right? Okay. Me bit of mum. I said to me mum, oh, I've got to count, mum. I saw oh, it's no good. That it's no no cushy. That there's that. Oh, she said, oh, tell you what, that is my boy. She said that's the red wine. I said. I've had a glass of it in my life. You all of a sudden you you become a all of a sudden you bump into a million and one doctors. Yeah. It's the red meat, it's the fish, it's the prongs, it's the red wine, it's the this, it's the that. It's a bit like being in prison, right? All of a sudden you're landing and they and people telling you what you're gonna get. You meet so many solicitors in prison, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and now all of a sudden you meet all the doctors because I've got to give up drink. Nothing to do with it. It is what it is. I've got, I've got, I've got loads of people giving you solutions here. They care about you, Jason. They're... Not interested. I've got the tablets. I'll take them. Leave me alone. I will. I get it. I'm not dropping out anything. I get heartburn from onions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not going to not have onions again because I like them. So if I get heartburn, I get heartburn. It's life. 
So as someone who's never had gout, and, and people are fascinated on here, I'm telling you they're fascinated, um, how long does it stay with you? So, I mean, is it like you have... I'll take that. I'll take the tablet. No, if you take the tablets, but the bruising can come through and it can come through on you. And then, 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 then all of a sudden that stays with it. But then the pain's gone and the bruising is... Yeah. Goes, but yeah. it depends. It depends how bad you get it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you can feel it creeping in. So you take some tablets, but you've got it before it comes. Yeah. Now, remember, folks watching this, if you've got health problems, you can come to Dr. Jason. He'll be able to answer anything that you want. Uh, <laughs> any any yeah. health problems, just bring it our way, yeah. you know? So do you want to know any of these solutions that these people have come up with? No, because I won't listen to any of them. I mean, if you want to, because they took their time to thingy, you're more than welcome to. But I can assure you, on my hamster's back legs, I will be taking no interest in any of them. Right. The CA says get on the allopurinol. One time. No, but that's what, what he's saying there is you got, you, what you have to do is you take one every single day and yeah. then it stops it coming. Oh, right. I don't want to take tablets every single day going into my kidneys. I don't want to take tablets every day. But he's right. But he's right. He's right. Yes. And in fact, somebody else says uh, he doesn't fancy taking them tablets for the rest of his life. So I suppose you've got to keep taking them then, haven't you? Forever, no, you have to take them. You have to take one a day. Are you yeah. listening to me, Liam, or not, son? I am listening. You have to take one every day. Yeah. Every day to stop it coming. Simple. Uh, there's a fellow who's going to be really irritated by us talking about this. Daniel Hogg. He said, uh, what a legend Jason is, but get on with the interview, Liam. He says, you know, he don't want to listen about the gout. But you know, Daniel, there's loads of people here who, who are fascinated by it. I think Daniel might be right to be truthful, Liam. Dan 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 Daniel might be right. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to say, Daniel, this isn't an interview. We, we're not doing like an in-depth interview here. We're no. having a bit of a laugh, a no. bit of a banter, and a bit of a chat. There's no interview. There's no interview here. There's no, 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 no. no. There's no the interview's the wrong words, but, yeah, it's but totally you wrong. know. So, Dan, Dan don't so... want to hear you waffling about <laughs> twist and shout. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they love it. All right. Some news. Tom Jones's Delilah can't be played at the Welsh rugby. Have you heard that, Jason? Right, vaguely now, but I don't. I, I caught the end of it. What? 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 What, so, is that? So what happened? The uh, the rugby association. I don't know. They are. I don't follow rugby and all that. They they're worried about the you know the way the rugby players are and their behaviour and this that, and the other. So they've come up with this great idea that they're not going to sing Tom Jones's Delilah at the matches because it's about violence against women. So apparently they sing it all the it's, time. It's banned. It's banned now. Well, I didn't know it was against violence against women. Did you? No, I had no idea. It's, well, no. It, 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 I mean, I think people make things up. It is one for you. Sorry, I've got to change because yeah. it's on my mind because I've I thought yeah. myself. When I see this today, I just don't watch the news. Are you allowed that? Let, let you have that count today? You on the is. second one or your first? Yeah, that's that's the first one. But the uh, Welsh rugby, they they don't want me to have it. So you know, there you go. That's right. Yeah. Right. Um. I saw. I. I just honestly, I don't. And I thought, John. And then I just happened to put my television on earlier, and it come on, and it come on. This is the thing that I saw on there. There was two fellas on there. Yeah. Just trying to earn a straight living, just and. But, but uh, what's that film called? Rings of the Lord or something? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Film, Liam. You must know the film. Rings of the Lord. No. No. Never You've heard never heard of it. Well, what is the film called, Liam? What is the film called? Because I, don't, I don't, don't know what it's called. Always... Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Sorry. Now, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know I don't watch films. So, no, Lord I, of the Rings. I only watch right. movies. So there I... was two fellas. There was two fellas on there today, right? Yeah. And Lord of the Rings yes. have tried or are taking them to They're not allowed to be called Lord of the Bins. And they was, they was clearance people. And they're stopping. They're trying to stop. This is the country you're living in. They're oh. trying to stop these two fellas that are just going to work, in pickup truck, yeah. clearing people's rubbish. Yeah. It's Lord of the Bins instead it's of look right. Ridiculous. That was that one. That, that was that one, yeah. right? That was that one that charged me, yeah. right? And then there was another one. There's another one, and it will come to me, mate. Just, oh no! Have you heard this one? Right. This one. I woke up to this today. 
banter bouncers, banter bouncers, banter police in the pubs in case there's too much, too much banter and you're going over the top about, have you heard about it? No, no. Oh, limbs, I swear to God. Yeah. I swear, may my wheel never fall off my wheel, but I thought, what are you going on about? When we was kids, mate, there was a f***ing public bar and a saloon bar. Yes. That's where we were. We was in a public bar and the old treacles were in the saloon bar. Leave me alone. Right? Yeah. Right? Now, now they're talking about you're not allowed to have too much banner. Too much. <sighs> I, I just, I don't, look, folks, I don't know what's happening in our country. I don't know what's happening. It's like anything that you want to do and have a laugh or anything you want to have an opinion, you are, you're, you're, you're bad. Not allowed. You're not allowed. It's the same now. They're doing everything they can to smash small businesses with this, this ULIS, you know, you know, you, you, the, you've got to pay £12.50 if your van's too old now to travel it's in. Mental. You know, out then you've got the fifteen minute cities, you've got the whole thing that, that are ruining all these small shops and all these businesses and stuff like that. You've got to stand up, folks. You've got to stand up, I'm telling you. Really. A hundred percent. It's just it's just pathetic. Yeah. You know, like I wanna know when you go shopping in a shop over there now, yeah. do you have the clothes? Do you have male, female well, and tranny be, clothes or something? I don't know. The way. You see, because I, I don't even know what gender I am anymore, Jason. I mean, I... <laughs> have you any? Have you ever known? Have you ever known? No. No, I, <laughs> I mean, I just can't handle. It. I cannot handle it. No, I can't go mental about it. I just I can't handle it. Well, but lucky point, enough, you know, because this is only a small group of people who who are unfortunately in control. At some point, they will get kicked out. It's like you can vote them councillors out that are blocking off your roads in the elections coming up and vote them out. You know what I mean? Time's come. We need a laugh. We we, we need more banter. That's what we oh, need. you can't. You can't. The banter police will get you. <laughs> banter bouncers. Swear to God, look into it, please. I bet there's viewers on here and they heard about it. I've never heard anything like it in my entire straight and natural. Mm. It's outrageous, mate. No, we, we, we need a, a laugh. But the good thing is MPs are getting a pay increase, so we, we'll all be happy about that. That's the good news. They're, 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 they're struggling as it is. Yeah, so that, we're, we're very <laughs> pleased about that. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple of news things and then we'll go on to the loads of subscriber questions. Right, should a big thing now is is uh, the coronations coming up with uh, the, the king, King Charles. Should Harry and Meghan come to the coronation, Jason? Family, family, family. Yeah. Family. Got to come, yeah? So, you know. Well, look, let's do their family. They, you know, they deserve an invite. If they turn up, it's up to them. They might be busy. They might be, you know, they might be making documentaries because they don't want anyone to know about their life. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they might be writing a book or something. I don't know. You need another you know? documentary, Jason. You need a whole document, another new documentary about your life in Thailand, exposing yeah. absolutely everything, you know, your day-to-day -day life. That's what you need. You know, well, you have to come over and film it, wouldn't you? Yvette, yeah. Yvette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm funny. I was at Dave's uh, the other day because he's having a oh, yeah, I'll see. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, he, oh, are, are you doing that thing on him? No, 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 it's nothing to do with me. No, he, he, oh. just, he just said, come over and uh, film the uh, auditions, you know, for a laugh. And I said, yeah, all right, you know, why not? And uh, so it was. It, they were looking for people. It's an Amazon Prime documentary that I think. Uh, who, who is it? Big Nasty is making. So oh, nothing, yeah. nothing to do with me. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was people who were doing the scenes. Uh, supposed to be Dave Courtney. So they're all coming in acting as Dave Courtney. So it's but, quite. <laughs> yeah, I see today he sent me a thing today. He's, uh, he's got everyone for every single role apparently. For one for him, one for Brendan, one for his boy, you know, for 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 Courtney, his girl, one for Bo, his boy. I, I believe, I believe, one for Jen, you know, his ex-wife. Do you know what I mean? I think he's, 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 he's got one for him. Uh, he's, hey? he's exaggerating a bit there. I love Dave. But oh. He's exaggerating a bit there because the only people who turned up there were turning up to be Dave Courtney. So unless oh. <laughs> I, I cannot believe. You're telling me Dave's exaggerating. I cannot believe it. <laughs> no, no. I think he's slightly... I mean, they may have done other auditions, but there was only 50 bald-headed blokes there. So unless some of them are playing yeah. his wife and all that, I've got no idea. But uh, yeah. so you had to come in the room and say, hello, I'm Dave Corney. Give us your money. So that was kind of like the audition you had to do, you know. So it was oh. quite funny, actually. Did you do it? Did you do it? Because you, you could, you know... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think I could There's do a it. 
But what was funny, and please, folks, don't take this the wrong way. Please don't take it the wrong way, right? Because there's no anti stuff in this show, right? Is that there was a you're supposed to look like Dave Courtney, right? When you turn up, right? But there was a, an Asian fellow who came in, who just it just was ridiculous. There was, you know, I think there was a did he have a bald head? <laughs> no, <laughs> loads of people. <laughs> No bald heads. I think we had a couple of, you know, a few Greek people, you know, <laughs> all these different nationalities coming in. So it was, we were looking like, oh, well, there you go. Anyway, best of luck with it. But I, I think you need, you've got a film coming anyway. They'll probably do the same thing for you. They'll have all these people coming in being Jason Mariner, won't they? You know? I don't think so, Liam. I think they're expecting to raise the bar a little bit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're absolutely right. So uh, we've only got a couple of more minutes on this before we head over to mine. Um, Ronaldo scores four last night. My boy. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought they weren't too happy with him over there at the minute. <laughs> I know they were all slagging him off, saying he's finished. He's 38. He can't do it anymore. He scores four. You know. Then, of course, all the Ronaldo haters come on and say, "Yeah, but it's only against these useless teams, goalkeepers, crap." You know, all of that stuff. I don't. I don't think he's worried with a bit of money he's getting. Do you? <laughs> no, I love these bothered at all. So, yeah, before we go, Liverpool. If you've got any thoughts about Liverpool, but they're terrible this season. Should Klopp be sacked? No, 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 no hold on. To, to be fair, the same Chelsea. They're they're an average. They're an average side, and that's what happens. You can't you can't be up there all the time. That's it is what it is. Yeah. Well, well Klopp, and they, well, who are you going to get? Who are you going to get when you sack him? No, they're an average side. Look, we, you know, I don't think you only had look two weeks ago. Chelsea played Liverpool nil nil. What an exciting game that was. I mean, to be fair. To be fair, Chelsea Chelsea was the better side out of the two, and, and it weren't exactly a, a river, you know, a, a fantastic game. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, yeah. average side, same as Chelsea, average side. That's what it yeah. is. I, it's a, yeah, they, they've really gone down the ship, but you know they'll come back. They always do, you know. So Chelsea will be back up there soon, you know. Right, folks, yeah. we're going to move over. We're going to move over to my channel. We'll have some more fascinating doctors' insights about you know any of the illnesses that you've got. Jason is here to give you all the treatments that he can. So uh, we'll see you over there, folks.